Whether you are in Arundel or Ontario, Northamptonshire or Nova Scotia, Cotterstock or Connecticut, you are most welcome to evening prayer from the 13th century parish church of St. Leonard Clapthorne. It's Monday the 18th of May. It's also rogation, from the Latin regare to ask, a time of fasting and prayer to, to ward off calamity in preparation for Ascension Day. Traditionally, it has also involved blessing planted fields and beating the bounds. In Matthew's Gospel, when Jesus was asked by a Pharisee lawyer to identify the greatest commandment, he replied by quoting Deuteronomy, that is, to love God with all one's heart, soul and mind. Then, quoting Leviticus, he said that a second commandment was like it, loving one's neighbour as oneself. By this, the duty to behave ethically flows from a right relationship with God, an idea which is to be found in both of today's lessons. In Deuteronomy, Moses is passing on the Lord's commands about correct liturgical practices, which are combined with ethical instructions for the relief of poverty and hardship. These commands flow from the covenant relationship between God and the children of Israel. Obedience to them is Israel's side of the agreement. God's part is to treasure the people and, emphasising his universal sovereignty, to set them above all nations. The author of 1 Peter, writing to encourage beleaguered followers of Jesus, emphasises that they are right to withdraw from the practices of their neighbours and urges them to support each other in love. This imperative, concerned with their relationship with each other, flows from their relationship with God, who provides them with the strength to do what is right, to God's glory. Notice the urgency of the appeal. The early Jesus movement believed that the risen Christ would return in judgment at any moment. Evening Prayer When the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness which he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Dearly beloved brethren, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent. According to thy promises, declare thou to mankind in Christ Jesus, you our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace that they may be cleansed from all their sins, and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Old Testament lesson is from Deuteronomy, chapter 26, verses 12 to 15 and 18 and 19. When you have finished paying all the tithe of your produce in the third year, 
which is the year of the tithe, giving it to the Levites, the aliens, the orphans and the widows, so that they may eat their fill within your towns. Then you shall say before the Lord your God, I have removed the sacred portion from the house and I have given it to the Levites, the resident aliens, the orphans and the widows, in accordance with your entire commandment that you commanded me. I have neither transgressed nor forgotten any of your commandments. I have not eaten of it while in mourning. I have not removed any of it while I was unclean. And I have not offered any of it to the dead. I have obeyed the Lord my God, doing just as you commanded me. Look down from your holy habitation from heaven and bless your people Israel and the ground that you have given us as you swore to our ancestors, a land flowing with milk and honey. Today the Lord has obtained your agreement to be his treasured people as he promised you and to keep his commandments, for him to set you high above all nations that he has made in praise and in fame and in honour and for you to be a people holy to the Lord your God, as he promised. Here endeth the Old Testament lesson. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament lesson is 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention, for whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin, so as to live for the rest of your earthly life, no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme. But they will have to give an account to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was proclaimed even to the dead, so that, though they had been judged in the flesh, as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit, as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. Here endeth the New Testament lesson. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Collect of the Day O Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us thy humble servants, that by thy holy inspiration we may think those things that be good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, keep unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Collect for Aid Against All Perils Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. A Fifth Century Prayer of St. Augustine Blessed are all thy saints, O God and King, who have travelled over the tempestuous sea of this mortal life and have made the harbour of peace and felicity. Watch over us who are still in our dangerous voyage and remember such as lie exposed to the rough storms of trouble and temptations. Frail is our vessel and the ocean is wide but as in thy mercy thou hast set our course, so steer the vessel of our life toward the everlasting shore of peace and bring us at length to the quiet haven of our heart's desire, where thou, O our God, are blessed and livest and reignest for ever and ever. Amen. And now a time of private prayer when we can bring before God anything that we're worried about, those things for which we should be thankful. Anyone known to us who especially needs our prayers and also to pray for ourselves. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>